Successful snowboard instructors incorporate the following practical teaching skills into their lessons. Each of these skills will help you to provide a great experience to your students. This is the key to a great lesson. Provide a safe and fun experience for your students and they will want to come back for more. Choose terrain that is both safe and suitable for your students' ability levels by considering the steepness of the slope, the day's snow conditions, as well as the goal of the lesson. Use a maximum performance on minimum terrain rule to build confidence in your students. At the start of the lesson, you may use questions to gauge your students' skill level, but don't rely 100% on their answers. Avoid surprises and do your own check by starting on terrain that would be easy for their ability level. Create a positive, student-centered lesson environment by engaging with your students. Ask them about their previous snowboarding experience, their expectations or motivations, and their goals for the lesson. Remember, not all students want or expect the same out of the lesson. Check in with your students during the lesson to find out how it's going and adjust if need be. Ensure that you manage risk at all times during your lesson by anticipating safety concerns ahead of time and making adjustments as needed. Snowboarding will never be 100% safe, but you can manage the risks to keep your students safer. Evaluate and reevaluate your decisions at each step in the lesson. Is what you're doing relevant and appropriate for the goal of the lesson? Are there any safety concerns that you could minimize by changing your approach? Communication consists of both what you say, verbal communication, as well as what you do, nonverbal communication. Be aware of not just your words, but also your tone of voice, body language, posture, and facial expressions. Structure your lesson with the student's overall goal in mind. Are you teaching new skills or techniques with some element of safety consequence? Choose a building block step-by-step -step progression. Are you polishing or developing skills that may already be present in your student's riding? Maybe a whole part whole approach is better. When setting the goal for the lesson, remember to ask your students first. With their answers, you can begin to translate their motivations into your technical focus for the lesson. A picture is worth a thousand words, and your students will benefit from watching you perform the skills you are teaching them. When demonstrating, keep the performance level on par with their skills. Could they copy what you are doing in the demo? Take into account the terrain and make sure that everyone in your group can see your demos. Following the demo, ask if it was clear and if there are any questions, repeat if necessary. Analyzing performance is a difficult skill that you will work on improving over the long term. Start with the basics. The three core riding competencies will give you a starting point to assess your student's riding. Are they standing in a centered or mobile position on the board? Do they look comfortable, balanced, and able to move naturally? Are they turning using the lower joints, or are they using the arms and upper body to force the board to turn? Are they balanced on the working edge? Can you see the snowboard grip the snow? What is the track in the snow like? Where is the snow spray going? If it's clear that one of these competencies is lacking, then you have a specific area to provide some improvement. Remember to consider the external factors when analyzing your students' skills. Things like the terrain and snow conditions, their physical and psychological state, and even the setup and tuning of their equipment will affect their ability to perform the skills you're asking. Have some tolerance for these things when analyzing, and start by changing the ones that are the easiest to fix. When you give your improvement, try to remember a few things. Start with something positive and let them know they are doing well so they continue to do it. Offer them something to try to achieve next time they practice the skill or technique. Keep your feedback focused on something tangible that they can do or change in their riding by giving them an exercise, analogy, movement, or even just a body part to focus on. Try to keep your language positive and confidence inspiring. Avoiding words like but, I want you to, and you should, will help you to keep the lesson student-centered and positive. 
This is the meat of the lesson, where you take the expectations and goals that the students have asked for and tease out the technical skills to be improved. For example, your student might mention that they have trouble controlling their speed on steeper slopes. After watching them ride, you may notice that their position on their heel side edge is causing a lack of edge grip and control. Starting on easier terrain, select a couple of exercises or tactics that will help them feel a better balanced position on their edges before progressing back to the terrain they originally struggled with. Keep your presentation of the technical content as simple, clear, and concise as you can. The goal is to get better at snowboarding and not be overwhelmed with technical info. Now it's time to put it all into practice. The following lesson format is just a brief example of how you may apply your skills to a group lesson scenario. This is one of the most important parts of the lesson. Setting a good tone during the introduction will help you gain the trust of your students. Smile and greet your guests. Learn their names and try to use them so you don't forget. Ask them about their interests, prior snowboarding or other sports experience, and their goals for the lesson. Use this time to check their equipment and make sure they are dressed appropriately for the day's conditions. If your students have ridden before, or maybe even taken a lesson or two, take them to easy terrain for their ability. Watch them ride the way they normally would and start to create a plan for the technical part of the lesson. Share your plan with the group before getting too far into it. Using the training cycle as a guide, Work on the skills that will help your students achieve the goals for the lesson. Keep the explanations and demonstrations brief and give lots of time for guided practice and mileage with feedback. Students should be free to make some mistakes as this will help them to learn as well. Just make sure you are there with some guidance as mistakes happen. This part of the lesson will take the most time. Keep an eye on the clock so you save some time for mileage and wrap up at the end. The end of the lesson is a good time to allow students to explore these new movements with less structure. Choose terrain that will give them some success and provide brief, individual feedback or tips. Arrive back at the meeting area with time for a brief wrap-up. Review the skills that you worked on and make sure to let them know what you would work on next. Thank them for coming out and riding with you and encourage them to come back for another lesson. Let them know when you might be available.